Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com, and we wanted to update you that ASUS has released BIOS updates that can enable TPM on hundreds of their motherboards. And I just want to talk to you about this real quick. It won't take long. And the reason for this is it's not just about ASUS. It's about, well, everybody. And the reason for that is you either have the TPM or you don't. So you can enable it in your BIOS. And basically all this BIOS update does is enable TPM as far as I know. So as you can see, this is the important part. Here's where they show you what you need to do to go into your BIOS and enable TPM. Now, keep in mind, if your computer was built roughly from 2013 on, you probably have TPM built on to your chip. I know some people who went out and bought the chip, and chips are expensive right now, ridiculously expensive. You may already have it built in because Intel and AMD have built firmware TPM into their technology since 2013, meaning even if your motherboard has a slot for it, it's probably already built in. So this is a big deal for anybody that's confused about TPM. So for example, they show you, and you need to know the name. So you got to get into your BIOS. So it's kind of tricky. Every computer is different. Sometimes you reboot and then you press delete F10. Look for it on your screen as you reboot. It should show you how it works. Let me show you what we did here. And you can find all these links in the video description. Six ways to see if your computer has a trusted platform module. So if you're not sure, you can follow this tutorial and find out. But to get into the BIOS, this is my BIOS here, you have to find exactly what you're looking for and your mileage might vary. So that's kind of the difficult. So secure boot, stuff like that, you're looking for that. I think we mentioned it here in the article somewhere. And basically, in other words, all this BIOS update is for is to go into the BIOS and make the changes for you. So if you're not comfortable accessing the BIOS, this gives you an option. So there you have it. So you're looking for different words in there, but they'll usually be PTT would be one of them, depending on whether you have, this is why it's confusing and why people might need this, depending on whether you have an Intel or AMD chipset. So Let's see, check if it's available. We might mention it in here. Here it is. I knew it was in here somewhere. So TPM typically, I <laughs> gotta love it. I really, it's Windows. Typically will be called Intel Platform Trust Technology or Intel PTT or PTT. And AMD is going to be called AMD PSP FTPM. I have some typos in here. I better go fix when I'm done with this. Don't you love it? So there you have it. So if you go in your BIOS, you're looking for some of those words in there. And again, I really, really understand the confusion with people not understanding how this works. But take a look inside your BIOS. If you don't know how to do it, go online. Look up your computer brand, model number, or if you know your motherboard, model number, how to access the BIOS, you should be able to find it really quick and easy. So do that and then just boot into your BIOS and see if you can find it. And again, if you have an ASUS board, hey, they saved you the trouble. Grab their BIOS update. The link is, where is it here? This BIOS update right here. That'll get you over to the page where you can find and click to find your board. Nice and easy. Some are under testing. Some are ready to go. There you have it. So I hope that clarifies and helps out a little bit because the article, while it's about ASUS releasing the BIOS update, it's also to let you know that you could probably check your BIOS yourself and enable it if your computer was built post-2013. Trying to help. It's confusing. I think Microsoft coming out and saying, hey, you got to have Intel TPM 2.0 or you can't run Windows 11 was a really bad, bad way to release that information. It had been a lot better if they said, you know, gave you this information, which they have done recently, but it was months later. And I don't know if anybody noticed it. So there you have it. I hope it helps out. That gives you a little information if you have an ASUS board or how to check your BIOS and see if you have it. And of course, as I mentioned, seeing if TPM is available. I hope that helps you out. For those of you interested in Windows 11, thanks for watching as always. See you.